A few months ago, I released a video called the number one thing that separates top FPS players from the rest, and wow did you guys like it. I was blown away by the response. That video was focused on the concept of playing with intention to improve your gameplay much faster than the average player, and it specifically covered the topics of crosshair placement and movement. I also introduced the idea of turning those concepts into a series. Today's video is part 2 of that series, and it's all about angle management in FPS games. Specifically, we're going to cover a technique called slicing the pie, which is a concept that has fundamentally changed how I approach movement in FPS games. Now I'm also going to show you why positioning is just as important as your aim in many cases. So let's dig into it. What the heck is slicing the pie, and how does it apply to playing FPS games? See, most inexperienced players have a tendency of running around the map in an FPS game like a chicken with their head chopped off. They don't pay attention to potential danger until it's way too late, and because of that, they force themselves to hit these wild flick shots and win fights against multiple enemies just to stay alive. As you grow as a player, one thing that you must master is the ability to clear angles of a map in order to mentally mark them as safe from danger so that you can focus your attention on the parts of the map that offer the biggest threat. This is a general concept known as gaining map control, and it's a core fundamental of getting good at FPS games. Slicing the pie is a particular method for clearing angles as carefully and precisely as possible so that you minimize the number of enemies that you have to fight at the same time and you're always prepared when you do find an enemy on your screen. From what I can tell, this method actually comes from military training and I imagine it saved countless real world lives on the battlefield for soldiers who are putting this technique to use. The goal here is to limit your exposure to areas where you don't know exactly what's on the other side of an object while you're systematically clearing the area inch by inch. You do this by gluing your crosshair right next to a corner that you're clearing and slowly rotating your body in an arc shape as you clear the angle. This way, when you do find an enemy on your screen, you typically only have to fight one at a time. You slice the pie by cutting off one angle at a time until you've cleared the full area of potential threats. This slicing the pie technique can sometimes be used in conjunction with another technique, sometimes called strafe peeking or stepping out. When you either know or suspect that a target is in a particular spot, you can use your movement and crosshair placement together to quickly peek that angle and eliminate the target if you spot one. The idea is to have your crosshair pre-aimed at the spot you suspect the target might be hiding so that your crosshair is perfectly positioned on the target just as you finish your strafing movement and all you have to do is shoot. This timing gives you a temporary edge called peeker's advantage. This is where many games will give you a brief moment where you can see the enemy before they see you due to how the netcode works in modern FPS games. You'll see the best players in any game using a combination of these techniques. They'll slice the pie to slowly clear an angle until they come across a known hiding spot, and then they'll step out and strafe peek the suspected location and take a shot if a target is detected. Most maps in FPS games have positions that are frequently held by enemy players. It's crucial to pay attention when you're playing and learn these spots and maps so that you can practice peeking these positions with a combination of these techniques. In games like Destiny that have advanced movement techniques like sliding, it can also be helpful to slide clear an angle instead of just strafing out. This is something that you'll see top players doing regularly to make their hitbox slightly more difficult to hit since they're lower to the ground and they're moving faster during that slide animation. When I see a player pulling off perfect slide peaks in Destiny, I can instantly tell that they're a fairly advanced player and there's someone to worry about in the lobby. When you're playing with a team, it's also important to keep in mind your position relative to where your teammates are located on the map. Sometimes you might take the perfect peek and you just lose the gunfight, and that's totally okay as long as your teammates are close enough so that they can finish off the target. This is known as getting a trade kill. It's your responsibility as a good teammate to communicate and put yourself in a position where even if you die, your teammate is able to get the trade. Pushing out too far by yourself can often lead to a situation where if you die, your teammate isn't in a good position to trade you out, and you've effectively given up your life for free. In high level games like competitive Counter-Strike, or even in high level Destiny, this is a huge mistake that can cost your team the game if you do it too often. On the flip side of this situation, if your teammate is the one who's taking the peek and engaging the enemy, it's your duty as the teammate to get the trade kill if your teammate goes down. There are very few things more frustrating than taking a duel as an entry fragger and losing, only to watch your teammate sitting back passively behind you and not even taking that opportunity to trade out your death. The other major topic that naturally coincides with slicing the pie in peak shooting is managing your distance from a corner. FPS games typically work by having the camera located either in the player model's head or slightly in front of the player model, and sometimes this causes a phenomenon where your enemy can see you even though you can't see them. When you're extremely close to a corner and you start clearing that angle, it's possible that if the enemy player is already holding that angle, 
they might see you slightly before you can see them on your screen. Essentially, the way it works is that whoever is closer to the corner will have the disadvantage. To combat this mechanic, you always want to hold as far away from the corner as possible so that you limit your exposure. However, keep in mind that staying too far back can sometimes open yourself up to danger from different angles. So it's a balancing game and a true test of your map awareness to position yourself properly. I'm going to show you a few examples of this in practice so you can see it from both perspectives. Notice how the player closer to the corner is always the first one to show up on screen. It's also important to note that managing your distance to a corner matters most in games with a very fast time to kill like Counter-Strike, Valorant, or Call of Duty. In games like Halo and Destiny with a slightly slower time to kill, you can sometimes get away with playing closer to the corner since it takes more shots to kill you, and that gives you some time to back off and heal. You also need to keep in mind that if you're playing too close to a corner, sometimes even if it looks like your shot will hit the target, the wall might actually eat your bullet due to how the game engine works. Some games have the bullet come out of the head of the player model, and other games generate the bullet from the tip of the weapon barrel. If you hold too close to the corner, your bullet may actually clip the wall and steal a potential kill from you, so be mindful of this effect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I recommend practicing these techniques in a private match with a friend so you can get a feel for how each of them operate. If you master these movement mechanics, you'll become a really difficult player to face, and you'll probably die a lot less in the game too. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up rating, that really helps my channel out. Also, let me know in the comments what would you like to see me cover in part 3 of this series. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video. I also stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 6pm Eastern Time. You can catch me live over at twitch.tv slash pattycakespc. And also, be sure to join our community discord if you want to make some new friends to play games with. You can find a link in the description to check it out. That's all for now, catch you guys next time.